Hey Geary. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just me, but there is a weird annoying noise coming from your mic. Um, is it interference, maybe? Oh wait, that's your voice. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Geary's Kitchen. This week, we'll be making Mediterranean food. Um, I've never made it before, so we're gonna try making moussaka and baklava. I think this is gonna be really, really great. So we're gonna actually prepare the eggplants first. You'll need generally about, depending on how big your eggplants are, you need about four to six. I have four, cause mine, like, like I said, mine are actually like humongous. Uh, for eggplant, we actually have to pre-prepare this a little bit. We're gonna cut the tip off and cut the butt off. Okay, and basically you wanna grab your eggplants and then you wanna slice them one centimeter thick and then do all of them. You basically want to aim for enough eggplant to do three layers in your, like raw, three layers in your casserole dish. Cause eggplants will shrink and then eventually it'll just be enough for two layers, which is what we're actually aiming for. But you want to make sure your eggplants are uh, three layers raw. Okay, I'm going to salt my eggplant because what I'm trying to do is draw out the moisture from the eggplant and that's this has to like sit and like kind of cure and stuff. So we're going to flip it around. Do the other side. You want to wring your eggplants dry. You want to make sure your eggplants are dry to the bone. And we're going to have to use salt to kind of help us extract that. And then do another layer of paper towel. No moisture, ouch. No, it's 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 it, it's supposed to be this way. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. Trust the, trust the process. It's supposed to be bone dry. Okay, if you're buying Italian eggplants, chat, like the big, girthy, stodgy ones, I don't think you're going to need four, okay? I think like I think like two, two would have been like good enough. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. That while the eggplants are salting and resting and draining all the juice out of it, we're gonna make the sauce. You need two medium-sized onions. I'm just dicing my onions a little bit for the sauce. Guys, go easy on her, it was just New Year's. People her age tend to get grumpy this time during the year. What the f I am not grumpy! Your, your, your face looks grumpy! I am not grumpy, she yelled in anger. <laughs> Now I am sauteing the ground beef. You can also use lamb, but I prefer beef. So I'm gonna add in sugar and I'm gonna do one cup of wine or one glass of wine, whatever that means. One cinnamon stick, one bay leaf. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the other room so I can like slowly simmer. Oh, you guys can see how wet my wet eggplants are now, chat. Look, look how, look how wet my eggplants are. So now we're gonna go from wet eggplant to soft eggplant and dry, soft and dry. You want it malleable, so you're gonna press down. This is why I layered every layer with a paper towel so it can soak up some of the water. So we're actually gonna fry our, or shallow fry, I guess, our eggplant. I think if you wanna go the healthier option, you can most definitely throw this into the oven and bake it for about 20 minutes or so. But I think originally you're, you are supposed to fry it, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I think you're normally supposed to deep fry it. I'm just gonna shallow fry it this time. So you wanna you wanna drain these so that they're uh, chilling and not as oily, obviously. I think we're gonna make the bechamel sauce now. I think we're going for half a cup of butter, roughly, and roughly one cup of flour. This is on low heat, and then we're just gonna add the flour, almost all of it. And we're just gonna let that cook down until it's nice and smooth. On low heat, use a whisk. And don't worry, my pot is like the special kind, so you can use me metal on it. And I'm not pressing really, really hard, but use a whisk or a spoon or whatever. I do have some whole milk. Okay, you wanna make sure your milk is room temperature at the very, very least, or warm preferably, or else it'll start clumping up your butter. And that would not be pretty. So add a little bit at a time. You wanna add this tiny, tiny little bit at a time. You don't wanna start adding everything all together because you want to make sure it can emulsify. And once it's coming together a little bit, add a little bit more. Slowly, it's supposed to be nice and thick. This is the bechamel sauce that I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna get my egg yolks. So now I'm trying to get two egg yolks out. And make sure your fire is off when you do this, but two egg yolks. And you want to do this really, really quickly. What you're trying to do is you're tempering the egg yolks so that it's not going to make scrambled eggs. But make sure the heat is off for this step and you want to do this quickly. And it's a lot easier on you if your eggs are room temperature already, which mine are. 
and you only want to get the egg yolks. And you want to make sure you always be careful. Do this really, really quick or else you will literally get scrambled egg pieces in your bechamel and nobody likes Good that. Thing you well, I'm going to add a little bit of nutmeg. But I got a great cheese. Ooh, it's working. Let me mix this into my bechamel. We're, we should be ready to layer, I think. Okay, we're get, we can start layering our thing now. Let me warm up my oven. My oven is on 180 for uh, one hour. So I'm gonna set this for more than an hour, just in case. Let me oil my, grease my pan and all the edges. I need to slice enough potatoes to fill the bottom of my casserole pot. Just one layer of potatoes. So I bought five. I don't actually know how many you'll need, but I'm just gonna cut and cut as we go, I think. I'm gonna uh, slice my potatoes, or I'm gonna peel my potatoes first. I'm gonna cut the potatoes generally the same slice as the eggplant, so about a centimeter. I'm gonna try to put my potatoes all on the bottom. Two rest of potatoes is perfect, and then we're gonna layer with our eggplants. Okay, so we're gonna do a layer of eggplants. We only need about two layers I of eggplants. I was here for the kitchen. And then I'm gonna do my meat sauce. I'll make sure you get your bay leaves out and your cinnamon stick. Okay, you want to use all your meat sauce though, because I think these portions should be perfect for um, one serving. You shouldn't have extras, theoretically. And then we're going to finish it with the rest of the eggplant. I have a bechamel sauce. I think what the recipe said, so I put the whole thing was accidental. Okay, I'm going to grate more Parmesan. So I'm going to put a bit of pepper. And we're going to throw this in for Roughly one hour or 45 minutes, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this in and let me amp it up to 400, why not? We're gonna cut that down. We need about two cups, I think. Hey, Geary, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just me, but there is a weird annoying noise coming from your mic. Um, is it interference, maybe? Oh wait, that's your voice. I should make my, um, my syrup. Okay, and I need um, half a cup of water, which is eyeballing about that much. I hope that's enough. Okay, rose water. Uh, rose water is quite strong, but it does make it taste really good, and I love rose water, so I'm gonna do measuring with my heart here. This could be very wrong or very right. The thing with rose water, if you put in too much, it'll taste like you're eating perfume, so you wanna be careful with it a little bit. Okay, two cinnamon sticks and six pods of uh, cloves, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need lemon peel of a whole lemon. I'm zesting my, my lemon, because it needs lemon peels. Okay, the syrup is done. I'm gonna let that cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the baklava, which will be interesting. So phyllo dough is what I'll be using for the baklava, which is what you should always be using regardless for making baklava. Do not use puff pastry, okay? Always use your phyllo dough. Temperature, 180, uh, timer. I think I need 40 minutes for the baklava. It's not quite ready yet though. Send it to 90 minutes maybe. Start that preheat. I think for this recipe, it requires one full packaging of phyllo dough. I think it's enough to make 28 or something like that. So uh, phyllo usually comes frozen, so make sure you thaw it. Um, Make sure you thaw it in the refrigerator overnight and then put it at room temperature. I wet some paper towel because it's important to keep your phyllo dough always uh, wet and moist. I forgot to melt the butter for the phyllo, which is like literally one of the other most important things or else your phyllo is not gonna be flaky if you don't melt the butter. Okay, I'm going to turn my oven off so I can use my microwave. I put cinnamon and more nutmeg into my nuts. Give that a cute little stir. My butter is here. My pastry brush is here. Now we're ready to go. Okay, you always want, and your sugar syrup is ready. Okay, so now your nuts are ready. Okay, now phyllo dough is very temperamental and it dries very, very quickly. So you always wanna make sure when you're working with phyllo dough and you wanna open it last minute when you're ready, don't be like me. Make sure you double check and you have all your ingredients and then you open your package of phyllo dough. But when you're working with it, make sure it's always has like a damp cloth under it and or over it, definitely over it. 
um, to make sure everything gets nice and moist because it will dry out and become very, very brittle, okay? And that now what we're gonna do for this particular baklava, we're gonna do like hand pie style. So what that is, is I'm gonna make individual triangles and I'm gonna try to find the middle point. And we're gonna cut our baklava into strips. Uh, I think it's widthwise by the shorter end. And you wanna do it maybe a total of four stacks. So you wanna cut them, cut it down in the middle first. It's and then with this half, okay, and then you wanna do four stacks of these. And then we do this one. So you put these back. And then for this one, again, you wanna cut them into widthwise. So they're roughly about two inches. Grab one sheet first, grab another sheet so you're ready. And then cover the rest up again so it doesn't dry out and we have to work quickly. Okay, so you grab your first phyllo sheet and then you brush it with some butter. Brush it all over with butter. Butter is what's gonna keep it together and also give you those layers when you're baking it. And then you wanna put your second layer of phyllo over it. Brush it with more butter. You can be generous with your butter. You don't have to be scared of it. And now that it's like covered in, in butter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these into, into triangles. So you're gonna grab your nuts and you wanna grab one corner of your phyllo dough and then you wanna drag it to make a triangle. Drag it to the one side so it lines up together so it makes into a triangle. And then you wanna grab the other corner and fold it upon this bottom line so now it makes another triangle. So every time you fold it, you wanna grab it by the bottom corner and drag it into the opposite area so it can make a nice triangle. And then at the very end, you wanna leave a little bit of bit where there's no nuts so you can grab to the end of it and it can seal it. But here is the completed thing. And I think just for moisture, I will put a little bit more of a, a butter. Oh, I'm gonna bake them. I'm not gonna fry them. And these ones you wanna throw into a 180 oven for about, what does my note say? For about 35 minutes. Oni bro, do you want um like pilaf rice? Like the Jimmy the Greek thing? Yes. All right, so I'll show you guys what I have so far for my baklava hand pie thingies. The syrup will be for later. We don't use the syrup now. We, we do the syrup in a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna make a really quick rice. Okay, so this is the baklava hand pies that I have so far. I placed them together touching for a reason is so that they don't kind of like separate or spill out. And when they puff up, they'll puff up together. So it's using each other as like a support so it can climb higher together. So I have these uh, put together quite tightly and I'm gonna throw this into the oven. Okay, I'm gonna cut some onions and garlic for the rice, okay? I'm just going to cut some onions, dice them, and we're gonna saute them with garlic. And then we're gonna make a quick little rice thingy. I have my basmati rice over here that I didn't, I didn't wash yet. I will wash, don't worry, hold your horses. I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of oil. Okay, okay, I'm, wa I'm washing the rice, I'm washing the rice, I'm coming back, I'm shaking the rice out. Okay, okay, I'm coming back. Oh, the onions are nice and brown, and I'm gonna put my rice in. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some peas. You wanna keep uh, stirring this until it's like a little bit translucent, and then you wanna add in your peas. Add a little bit, you don't have to go too crazy, just a little bit of color. And now we need two cups of chicken stock. Give it a, give it a little mixy mix. And I need half a cup of lemon juice. That's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna roll my roll my lemons out, okay? And then salt, pepper. I have pepper. A little bit of salt. Not too much, I don't think. Give it a little stirry stir again. Make sure it's mixed in. And I'm gonna grab a lid. I hope I don't burn it. It's boiling now. I put it on low and it's gonna simmer for like 15 minutes or something. It's not black! It was just, it, it, it got broiled a little bit. Anyways, I have roses that I'm gonna crush for the baklava. Ooh, oh, this separates so easily, look. I literally just like pinched it and it exploded. You like peel, peel the leaves back because we don't want the leaves. And then you just use your thumb or your forefinger or your like your, your middle, your, your second finger. And then you just wanna kind of like break up the bud just like that. And once you get into the middle, you gotta like, Show a little bit more force, but it'll it'll pop open eventually. Okay, my ba my baklava looks pretty good. Wow. 
Okay, I'm going to grab a pan because I want to make sure I can catch all the syrup. And I also get a strainer. Just... While it's still hot, and because I have like lemon peels and cloves in there, I want to make sure that I don't get any of it in there. And then I'm just going to slowly pour everywhere, but you want to soak your baklava until it is fully drenched in all the syrup. And obviously, don't worry about the sugar potentially making it soggy. The sugar syrup is that was actually going to help maintain the crispiness in the baklava. Should I open the rice? Yes, definitely! Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, the outside looks good. It's fluffy and, and not burnt. Hey, I made pig out again, chat. What? What? Um, I'm just gonna pat that down. I forgot to put my, my roses on the syrup. Okay, Oni Bro, oh, do hey, you want the lighter spirits. side or the darker side? You want darker? Uh. See? Oni Bro wants darker, chat! Shut up! Okay, take this one. This one is yours. Okay, Oni Bro, tell me, tell me what you feel. What's the situation? Overall, it tastes like a non-sweet apple. Yeah, because it's not supposed to be sweet, you poo-poo head. Okay, and how's the baklava? And how's the rice? 8 out of 10. Okay, that's good. And here we have our completed dish. We made moussaka and rice pilaf in the Jimmy the Greek kind of fashion. And it turned out really, really good. I'm really happy with it. And don't worry, it's not burnt. It's actually just really crispy and caramelized cheese. And we also made some baklava. Don't mind the piece that I tried already. But we made some baklava hand pie that turned out really good as well. It was nice and crispy and sweet. Thank you for joining today's video. I hope you guys had fun. What is your favorite Mediterranean food to eat? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, and make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. And if you want to see regular uploads from me, and post, uh, I post very, very regularly. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Geary, just take your meds and the bullying stops for top meds. Really? If I took my medication with the with the with the